unusually cool weather we've experienced this spring has been certainly a challenge for our warm season crops, but for our cool season vegetables, it's actually been a benefit. Usually by this time of year, we're struggling with heat as we try to finish off our cabbages and broccoli. Now I want to start by looking at our broccoli plants. A lot of people, once they harvest that central head, they just remove the plant completely. But if you leave the plants in, you'll see that the lateral stems develop new flowers, and these are gonna be a harvestable little flower head that we can harvest. Um, and you know, you don't get much from one plant, but if you leave your whole row in, you'll certainly have enough for a nice meal or two. And the trick with broccoli is making sure you harvest it on time. This flower head is a little bit too developed. So if, if we all remember, the flower is the part that we eat of the broccoli, but we harvest it before the flower buds open. And here you can see they've started to open. Um, we can still eat it. Once they have the yellow, it's a bit too far gone. So I would definitely want to harvest this one um, by cutting it off and bring it inside to eat. But just remember, once you've harvested your first uh, heads of broccoli, just leave them in place and you'll get a nice second flush. Now we covered both of our broccoli plants and our cabbage plants with row covers this spring. And we did that not for the cold, but for insects. We had a little bit of insect damage early on and we decided to cover them and protect against that after we treated for that, uh, the aphids that were here. And then that also kept out the main pests of our coal crops, which is a series of three Lepidopteran pests, uh, commonly called cabbage worms. There's the imported cabbage worm, the cabbage looper, and the diamondback moth. And that's the most severe pest of cabbages, um, as well as broccoli and cauliflower. So we definitely want to control against those. Normally by this time of year, our crop is just full of holes, but the row cover really kept those out nicely. We do have a little bit of damage, um, and that's from these guys here. You can see there's a bunch of sow bugs down below our plants. And the row covers don't work with these because they actually overwinter here in the garden. And so we have to find an alternative method of controlling those. Um, but they aren't causing as severe damage as we get from other pests. So it hasn't really been a problem for us. Now one of the challenges with cabbage is that it all tends to mature around the same time. We like to wait for those nice big heads. Uh, but then we have all this cabbage and you know it's difficult to use it all at once so it's okay to harvest your cabbage earlier you want to look for a large head and give it a little squeeze as long as it's firm it's ready to harvest so it's still a bit small I'm not going to make a good cabbage roll but i could certainly harvest this for use in a soup or a stir fry or some other dish as the spring rolls on, we wanna just watch for those pests, keep our cabbage covered to protect them against the worms, and we're gonna have a wonderful harvest here before long.